Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. Cannot wait to get into your beautiful reading. First week of June. I am Prairie Vintage. My name is Linda. I'm an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube, and I use spirits, my intuition, and the tarot to communicate energies to you, the beautiful viewer. Absolutely love that you're here. I cannot wait to see what's in store for you. So all my readings are generally timeless, and I do put the intentions that when you click on any video of mine that the message is meant to find you exactly when you're supposed to listen to that message so if you are listening when i upload then this is for the um the first week here of june 2023 um in and about because you can't pinpoint energy so much so in and about and around that time zone um full moon june 3rd and 4th so superly superly chargedly it's uh it's a full charge week of uh, emotions I'm feeling and intense craziness. All right, so can't wait to see what we see for you. Um, now I gotta say, right before I started your reading, I got a wicked headache, like absolutely wicked headache. Almost feels like a migraine. So you might be dealing with a situation that's like, ooh, just giving you a headache. Or yeah, just you're in your head about it, like nonstop because my head really hurts, okay? So I'm gonna, ask spirits to rid my headache so I can give you a very accurate uh, reading as great as I can and yeah let's ask spirit for a clear and concise message for beautiful Capricorn spirit clear and concise for Capricorn here please protect me as I channel this message and the viewer as they listen to this message overall energy for Capricorn and then we'll look at what you don't see coming challenges and opportunity and then of course advice here from spirit thank you so much capricorn for allowing me to tap into your beautiful energy and the energy around you for this reading all right let's clear the energy from the last reading energetically charged all right capricorn beautiful capricorn what do we have in your overall energy we have the lovers in reverse. We have the nine of pentacles in reverse. That could certainly be your energy here. And we have the three of cups. All right. So what is what you don't see coming? What you don't see coming, Capricorn. We have the seven of pentacles in reverse what you don't see coming. We have temperance in reverse and we have the magician upright. All right, so what is the advice here, Spirit for Capricorn? What is the advice? We have the seven of wands, right below the seven of pentacles in reverse, all right. Seven of wands and we have the knight of pentacles and we have the four of wands in reverse all right interesting let's take a look at your opportunity here for that week what's your opportunity opportunity for capricorn we have the knight of wands and what is your challenge your challenge is the ace of wands that's kind of interesting contradictory in a little way okay uh let's take a look at an oracle card here from spirit for what energy is spirit wanting you to encompass here or integrate into that week of june what is spirit wanting you to embrace here energetically and integrate into that week synchronicity wow that's pretty powerful she's nitties right there synchronicity and look at there's like it looks like Ouroboros snake because it's eating its own tail around and around and around and around there. So that's like, sometimes they get our own worst enemy here or going around in circles. Something to do with healing as well. I mean, I'm obviously going to get into the synchronicity part, but I feel like I'm getting more from the image here. I think you're doing a lot of healing and I think sometimes you might feel like you're chasing your own tail with something or just when you think you're healed and something else or something about if you are to heal then it kind of impacts something else or something is impacting your healing it's kind of a round and round like yeah damned if you do damned if you don't chasing your chasing a win out of a loss yeah i don't know i'm getting really in this whole thing so 
uh, synchronicity. I feel like spirits are really wanting you to pay attention to synchronicities because I think you're being really guided by spirits this week specifically, Capricorn, uh, guiding you in the right direction because I feel like you're just up in your head and maybe you're really pri um, uh, invested in figuring something out here that you might be missing the boat altogether or at least the science, the directions, right? Like, um, yeah, like you're... you. You have um, you have signs in front of you that you might not be seeing here, okay? So what I mean is, like, if you're seeing, like, angel numbers, if you're seeing, like, hearing... I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to be hearing stuff or something is going to trigger a thought in you. Spirit's wanting you to go with your intuition and what's coming to you um, because I feel like it's going to lead you in the path of what is supposed to happen because I feel like... Maybe some of you guys stop relying on yourself or you feel like when you rely on yourself, it kind of ends up badly or something like that. I don't know. I'm getting a lot from that card. We'll see how this plays into your reading, but let's look at your overall energy. I have the lovers in reverse, the nine of pentacles in reverse, and the three of cups. So this is kind of an interesting energy here. We'll get clarifiers as we go, but I got heavy Gemini. This is like... This could be an end of a relationship, okay? The lovers in reverse. So this could just be not having a choice, you know, no longer having a choice or having a choice removed from us because the lovers is all about choosing to chase up um, someone we love or choose to not do that or choose between two lovers, okay, two people or a career we love and choosing a person or choosing ourself and, and what we want to do or what others are telling us to do kind of thing. So something about having to make a choice, but it is in reverse. I feel like something's been removed. And for a lot of you guys, it could be like a relationship or just a relationship is no longer on the table is kind of what I'm feeling here. Um, I feel like uh, this nine of pentacles is like the independent single card, somebody who can go it alone and be successful. It's in reverse. So I feel like, I don't know, there's something here about putting our dependency, maybe maybe we're, we don't realize how dependent we actually are, and maybe we are being dependent on our environment or something to do with we're not successfully capable of standing on our own and being solid on our own, that we're depending on something here, or we don't feel like we're in a position we don't feel like we're in a successful position here. And I don't know, maybe it has something to do with the loss of a lover or the loss of a choice here. So now we lost our stability or we may lose our stability if we go and choose something here. So we just don't choose it. So I feel like this is reconciliation and let's all say it together. Three of cups could mean a third party. Okay, so you could be involved in a third party situation here. Now, third party doesn't have to necessarily mean another romantic interest in either yours or your person's situation here, but some sort of third energy that's getting in the way of this choice. Um, and it could be you dependent on something here that is not allowing you to choose something here. So there is a dependency I'm feeling. Um, this is also just lighthearted energy, celebrations, reunions, reconciliations but a uh, network of friends your social network your grouping your friends and hanging out so you could be dependent on like you know really light-hearted type situations here to get you through here um, a situation maybe in which you know you're kind of losing out but I feel like maybe you guys are dependent on your social network or you know um, keeping things light here keeping things light or looking at a re reconciliation of sorts or something like that. We'll pull clarifiers as we get in there, but let's look at what you don't see coming. I see the seven of pentacles in reverse, the temperance in reverse, and then you got the magician and what you don't see coming, Capricorn. All right, so what does this mean? This is like, um, you know, the card of long-term investments and taking care of something until we get our reward. And then in reverse is like, maybe we gave up on something we really invested in or we never even bothered investing in an area here. And I feel like something about something taken away or we're not investing or choosing, I feel like that's in what you don't see coming here. It's like not investing or walking away or not choosing to invest in something here that, you know, um, yeah, right beside the temperance card in reverse. I mean, the temperance card you always want to see in the upright because this is like a balance give and take. This is tempering um, 
ourselves, our environment, and being able to flow in a state that causes peace and balance and harmony to a situation. If it's in reverse, it's like out of whack. It's us not maybe showing up or bringing in the right or putting in the right amount of energy or our environment isn't supporting some sort of energy here. Um, so things are out of balance here. But I feel like what you don't see coming is that you're this beautiful magician here. Okay, this is um, Mercury energy and Mercury is all about communications and thought. And the magician here has all the suits uh, at his table, which is the ace, the ace of wands, the ace of cups, the ace of pentacles, and the ace of swords. So I feel like there's a chance for you to have a new beginning in all areas of your life. And you're kind of the master magician of bringing what's out in the ethers into manifesting this in your life. Okay, you can manifest this new beginning and you don't see this coming because I feel like What's happening here is uh, a whole lot of maybe giving up or a whole lot of I can't or a whole lot of things aren't working out, a whole lot of imbalance, a whole lot of where, you know, this being the anchoring card with the magician, it's like you have this ability, you have the tools, you have the ability to manifest a new beginning in all areas of your life if you take charge kind of thing here. And I, I don't know that you see that you have that, um, but it isn't what you don't see coming and it isn't upright. So I feel like there's some sort of sense of empowerment here. But I feel like it comes from some sort of synchronicity. So maybe this is like divine timing or divine intervention I'm hearing here. Because if it were up to you, no offense Capricorn, I see you're eating your own tail. Or you're doing circles and you're in your head about something here. I feel like you just kind of gave up or you didn't think you could or you just couldn't anymore because it was no longer a choice. Or you were dependent on something that didn't quite, I don't know, didn't quite be the thing. Um, so it was causing a lot of imbalance. I feel like something here about you taking charge, you bringing in that balance. Um, I don't know, something really strong about healing too, or a need for healing here. Let's see. Uh, in your opportunity, you have the Knight of Wands. So Knight of Wands, uh, usually I poo-poo this card because it could be somebody full of like excitement and then they fizzle out or they like charge in and then they're kind of really full of passion but then they don't really know what they're doing and they could just fall short right and they could just show up but i feel like this being in your opportunity i feel like spirit saying your opportunity is to rush in there your opportunity is to be confident and rush into a situation here uh out of an inspired action out of a desire out of a passion out of a pursuit you know if you're feeling hot and heavy towards something then you know to kind of chase it up here um that's in your opportunity but what's interesting is in your challenge it's like your challenge is you're not inspired or you're trying to hold yourself back from something you really want. So, yeah, like this is like, you know, this is when we're really turned on by some situation or inspired to really act on something and take that first step and have a new beginning and be very full of fire and drive. This in reverse is like we can't chase it up or we don't allow ourselves to go. And this is like the challenge but I feel the opportunity for you is to go, is to be confident. Look at how he's holding that Ace of Wands, you know, he's holding that Ace of Wands. He's going towards what he wants. He's going towards his passion. He's going towards his desire. He isn't held back. He isn't stuffing it down. He isn't, you know, being blocked from something here. So, but I mean, your overall energy is something does feel blocked or something feels over or not. It feels like it's imbalanced somehow. Um... So let's see how that ties in. But your advice here from Spirit, you got the Seven of Wands, more Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and then you got the Four of Wands in reverse. So this too is very interesting. So Seven of Wands is all about you being in a position to fight, you being in an elevated ground here, uh, despite all your challenges and adversities, what you think you'd have to come against, like you're in a position to fight here and stand for what you believe. I feel like... Your opportunity is to fight for what you believe. Your opportunity is to go after what you can, you know, what you believe here. And you are in a position to stand your ground and be confident in your position. But your challenge is inspiration to do so or allowing yourself to do so. Or, I don't know, something about being held back here or taking the step to do this. Um, your advice from Spirit, uh, after this Seven of Wands, you have this Knight of Pentacles. And I feel this is your energy, Capricorn. This is slow-moving energy. Okay, but this is the most, like, one of the most dedicated cards in the tarot. This knight keeps going consistently, slow and steady, wins the race, but he has a solid offer, and he wants to make it through to the end. 
no matter what it takes there and he's very consistent and goes through the battle you know goes through whatever this is in order to get there but there there needs to be movement i feel um and it looks like he's moving towards though a reverse like a, a four of wands in reverse so this is not really sitting good with me i mean this isn't the advice but the four of wands this is like a rite of passage this is like home this is commitment this is coming together a celebration and this is like you know home life is just not stability it's uh, no commitment this is like the wedding's called off there is no coming together so i'm not quite sure because i'm getting like three different types of energies here and this could very well be you eating your own tail again although it is in the advice here so i think spirit wants you to listen to synchronicities but this is fight fighting for what you want to believe this is like being determined and dedicated towards something here and then this is like falling apart of a home situation um you know so i don't know maybe we're committed to something here that needs to fall apart maybe we're fighting for something we think we want and we're putting our energy and our time into something here but i feel like what you don't see coming is maybe you're investing in a long-term thing here that's not paying forward that's not balancing out you know, and then you're needing to maybe manifest something here, something different, because this is all about the new beginnings that you're manifesting. So Spirit really wants you to see the opportunity to going after what you really desire. And what I'm getting now from Spirit is that maybe what you think you want and what you're fighting for is actually not really what's for you. So that's your challenge. Is you think you want something here? Or you think you're inspired to fight for something here? But I don't, I don't know that that really necessarily is. And maybe this is how you're eating your own tail because you're keep dedicating or committing yourself to something here that's just endless or not healing or not providing or keeping you in a state. So let's get clarifiers for you guys. Beautiful Capricorn. Um, yeah, let's get a clarifier here for the lovers in reverse, the nine of pentacles in reverse and the three of cups. So why is this here for Capricorn spirit? Can we get a clarifier for this row? Overall energy for Capricorn. Five of Cups in reverse. Um, I don't really like the Five of Cups in reverse. I mean, either which way it sucks, because the Five of Cups is where we're feeling saddened and we're depressed and we're feeling, you know, we're looking back on a situation that didn't quite work out, like this lover's in reverse, so we're sad about it. But in reverse, it's like maybe we're not allowing ourselves to grieve. And I see this Three of Cups secluded, and it's also in your energy here. So I think you're focusing maybe on light energies here. This was in reverse. Light energies, how to party, uh, distractions, keeping things kind of light, keeping things together here. Instead of allowing yourself to feel this five of cups. And, and, and instead of allowing yourself to grieve a situation here that I feel is maybe come to an end or time to come to an end or it has ended or your option your opportunity to chase it up or be whatever you are committed to here i think or or uh your stability or was pegged to this or your identity what you help build i feel like is not yeah is no longer there or no longer an option there so you might be losing some sort of stability here but i feel like you're not allowing yourself to grieve you're not allowing yourself to go through this five of cups so this is just prolonging something that you might need to experience here um with that five of cups in reverse so yeah if you are like you know drinking or distracting or like um networking with people just to kind of take away from something here like spirits saying you know there is something to do with your stability tied to a situation that's come to an end or a partnership something here all right let's take a look at um what you don't see coming here we have the seven of pentacles reverse temperance in reverse and the magician so temperance with sagittarius energy you have gemini magician is mercury like i said so that's all about conversations and timing but that is the gemini virgo card so gemini coming out again um let's see why is the magician temperance in reverse and the seven of pentacles in reverse here high priestess in reverse this is all about the synchronicities, paying attention to what our inner voice is saying, and it's in reverse. This is blocked. This is not listening to what we know it, we're supposed to do, right? Like the magician brings in based on what he knows. When he listens to the high priestess, this is his intuition and his higher self, working in tandem with spirits to be in tune with what he knows is right. 
And with it in reverse, it's like we're ignoring synchronicities, we're ignoring signs, we're ignoring what we think is right here. So it's, it's you know, we're needing to bring in and manifest in our world a new beginning here. So we're imbalanced. We can't no longer invest in a situation here, you know, that we might have been in a long term. Because this is long term and this is long term and they're both in reverse. Because whatever stability or a dream of stability or whatever was stability at one point, it feels no longer... And I feel like it's causing an imbalance and you're needing to really heal from this, okay? Um, and I feel like you can bring in your new world here and really manifest this, but it starts with listening to your little voice here inside you that's telling you what's right. And this is all about hidden secrets too. So it could be something unknown here about the situation you don't quite know yet. Um, all right, let's pull a clarifier for the Knight of Wands in your opportunity. And see, why is the Knight of Wands in your opportunity here for Capricorn? Why is the Knight of Wands the opportunity here? We have the Seven of Pentacles coming out again in reverse. This is the second time we're seeing this investing in something long-term that's not paying us any fruit. So we might not be listening to our voice that says, how many times are we going to invest in an area that's not fruitful? You know, just because it's a long-term situation, it's not healing us. It's it's making things imbalanced here. It's not bringing the right stuff. Like this is this is us showing up with like you know a bunch of food to the party to the celebration. We're showing up to the wedding, and then the bride not showing up, or the other people you know eating the food and they don't bring any food themselves like to the party. Like this is one-sided. And I feel like you just keep investing, but something's not coming out. So Spirit's saying, like, listen to your inner voice. Like, you're able to actually put in your energy and your manifestations into something that will. And the fact that we had this come out in your opportunity, it's like Spirit really wants you to charge towards what you want. What is your passion, you know? And something here about you being really attracted to something that gives you passion and fire. And you're kind of help holding yourself back from that. You're holding yourself back from that. So Spirit's saying opportunity to drive in there. You know, even if you don't know what you're doing or don't know the outcome, it's like you have to take that step and that confidence that the Knight of Wands does. He's not investing in something here that's not, you know, that's not paying it, that he's been investing in time and time and time again. That's just not, not happening here. All right, so let's take a look at your challenge. Your challenge was the Ace of Wands in reverse. So your challenge was, yeah, the Ace of Wands in reverse. Why is this a challenge we have the five of wands, more wands in reverse. So five of wands in reverse. This The five is all about um, change. And this, this card specifically is conflict, competition, in reverse. Your challenge, I think maybe your challenge is, there's something about conflict or competition here or being conflicted about going after what you want, being conflicted about being inspired to move towards something here, not wanting to cause conflict or not wanting to be up against challenge here. So you just kind of bow out. But I feel like what you don't know, spirit is telling you you're in a winning position. Like, look at these, look at these five of wands in your challenge here. Okay. There's five wands here. I feel like these five wands are kind of, if you do step forward, they're kind of coming at you, but you're in the higher ground to defend yourself and fight against this. Like you're in a winning position here is the advice here from spirit with the seven of wands. Um, so yeah, and what's interesting is in your challenge, you got the five plus the one is six. And your first card in the advice from spirit is the seven. You're holding the seventh wand and you're fighting against these six wands. So you're even fighting against your own challenge, your own position here of not wanting to be inspired to move towards what you want because you might feel competition. You might feel like there's challenge and you won't win or you won't succeed. And so you're conflicted, but you're definitely in a position to win and stand your ground and hang on to your passion, hang on to your desire. It's worth fighting for. Don't surrender. But I feel like you're investing somewhere that's safe. Maybe you're investing somewhere that you've invested for a long time, but it's like it's lopsided. It's not... It's not doing it, Capricorn, okay? So let's uh, let's pull one more clarifier here now for your advice. We had the Seven of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, and then we got the Four of Wands in reverse. So can we get an advice here from Spirit, or I guess a clarifier for the advice here? Like, why is this Four of Wands in reverse? It's very weird. 
Got the three of pentacles in reverse. So advice from spirits? I think there's something here that you're trying to make work with others who are no longer making it work. Okay, this is like a community. This is like our home or family or soul family, even or who we thought was our soul family, but it's in reverse. And here's us like showing up, trying to build a cathedral, trying to collaborate and cooperate with others. You're by yourself, Capricorn. You're trying to build something, Spirit saying, no more putting in energy and effort into trying to work on something here that's not no longer being held up, no longer needing your commitment, no longer needing you to bend over backwards and break your back and invest in. It's, it's lopsided here. It's not working out. Um, you know, chase your passion, your desire, and leave this feeling that you have to make something work. Like normally the Three of Pentacles has multiple people because it's coming together to build something here and collaborate, work together and cooperate with others. But in reverse and coming from the advice of spirit, it's like you're showing up alone to build something alone, like no need to do that, okay? Um, yeah, this is kind of what I feel here for you guys. Don't forget to listen to your synchronicities. Uh, you know, if it's dreams, write them down. If it's like numbers, if it's names, I feel that there's conversation or something you overhear, which inspires you. Because again, what you don't see coming, I think out of a situation where you were investing and it was lopsided, there's something you don't know about your own power of manifesting something here. So I think all of a sudden you manifest or you start a new beginning here with something that I don't think you saw or thought you were capable of doing. I want to pull one more card here to see what is this magician going to manifest here? Because this is a new beginning in like all areas. Um, because I feel like you end up chasing up something here. If you follow that opportunity, the Knight of Wands doesn't get held back, doesn't fear uh, competition. Yeah, this is the Knight of Cups and he's coming in reverse. This is extending your cup. This is like giving love to somebody else. But I feel like it's blocked here. And I feel it's blocked here because maybe we're not knowing um, that we have the ability to manifest, you know, the love, the beginning of love or moving forward with love here. Um, because, I mean, the magician has the cup on his table. Okay. But he also has, like I said, the sword, which is about truth, pentacle, which is about making shit happen in this 3D world. And he has the wands. And I feel the wands is really what you are hanging on to here. That's your desire. That's your passion. You're really um, wanting to go after something here and you have the opportunity to do so once you shift where you're, you know, practically investing. I feel like you're practically investing in something here that's not no longer a thing. And it might have caused um, or it, it allowed you to have some sort of stability here, but I feel like it's just not not a thing anymore. All right. So I hope this helped you guys. Beautiful Capricorn. I will see you soon. Bye.